I am blown away. It's going to be hard for me to put in words how good this game is. No exaggeration. This game, man. <laughs> man. What a time to be a horror fan. What a time to be a fan of video games in general. We got remakes like the Dead Space remake. This remake, Silent Hill 2 remake coming. Ah, it's just, it's crazy to think about just how far games have come. And you really get to see that when you see a game be remade. When you look at Dead Space remake compared to the original, you're like, dang, we came a long way. Even though the original, of course, still stands on its own, it still holds up. It's crazy to see just how far technology has come. And especially with this remake, man, it's... I don't even know how they managed to do so well. Like, I'm such a purist. <laughs> and I love the OG RE4. Honestly, when they even announced that they were remaking RE4, I was really nervous. Because the original Resident Evil 4 is such an iconic game, the game literally set standards in the gaming industry in general, like not just known as one of the best Resident Evils, if not the best, it's known as one of the best games, period. This game is so highly regarded that it's like, the thought of them remaking it sounds almost crazy. I was like, there's no way they're going to remake that game. And it actually be just as good, if not on par with the original. And that's honestly what I thought. And I usually tend to think that way about games that I really enjoyed back then. Like Metal Gear is my favorite game series of all time. If they were to remake, say, Metal Gear Solid 3, that's my favorite one. If they remade that game, I'd be terrified. Because I'm like, what are y'all going to do? <laughs> Like, what are y'all gonna do to my game, man? Like, are y'all gonna change things that are necessary? Are y'all just gonna cut stuff out that doesn't need to be cut? You're gonna add stuff that doesn't need to be... You know, there's so many things that can go wrong when you remake something. That's why I was actually super surprised with Resident Evil 2 Remake. Because I was like, damn, this, this game is really good. Arguably better than the original. Um... And of course, the original Resident Evil remake of the first one, <laughs> amazing. RE3 remake was okay. I didn't mind it as much as other people did, to be honest. Like, it was short, but I still enjoy the game. Some people I know hated it, though, so. I mean, there's that, but. Man, this one? Man. <laughs> RE4 remake surprised me, to say the least. And, uh. You know, getting into it, I got to talk about the game itself, the gameplay, right? The moment-to-moment -moment action, walking into the village, walking into the castle, the other areas, you know, just the whole experience of this game. And I got to say, they knocked it out of the park. And it's funny because the things that did bother me about this game are the same things that bothered me in the original mainly being some cheap bosses taking you out in one hit the usual if you're playing on hardcore this comes to be expected but damn some of the bosses be relentless and they no joke and honestly i feel like if you're playing this game you should be playing on hardcore in my opinion if you play resident evil Played on hardcore. I think it's just a much more engaging experience. And the the cool thing on this one, they actually recommend that you play it on hardcore if you played the original, which I thought was pretty dope. I'm like, okay, all right. It's, they want us to play on hardcore. That's dope. And the other thing that annoyed me was Ashley. Not saying that she was terrible. She was better than the original but i'll get into that in a little bit i will say though 
the highlight of this game for me when it comes to the gameplay is the knife and to be more specific it's the parry you can parry now which is something that I never thought I'd see <laughs> in a remake of RE4 I wasn't expecting to be able to parry shit but you can and it's amazing everything that you thought was cool about the Krauser fight they were like hey now you can do that normally like you're not just gonna be pressing the, you know having a quick time event and then you can use your knife in a cool fashion nah you can use your knife and look badass in any scenario and it's wild to me how much you can actually parry on this game you can I want to say you can parry dang near any attack on this game with a few exceptions probably being dynamite and if someone shoots a, like a, I don't know, throws a molotov at you or something um, you ain't gonna be parrying that but besides that you can parry literally like anything on this game I was going up against some bosses and I'm like I wonder if I can parry this and I could and then some enemies is like there's no way I'd be able to parry this but lo and behold I was able to I don't know what made them think of this idea but man Capcom y'all did y'all thing y'all whoever was like hey y'all should add a parry they were on to something because that's easily the best feature in the game in my opinion like when it comes to the gameplay that made the game so much more fun and even more engaging and like I said remaking RE4 is already a tall order so for them to make it potentially even more fun than the original RE4 is a salute to Capcom for real and then of course um, just the I say the typical Resident Evil gameplay you know going through different areas exploring finding new treasures ammo all that the looting all of that stuff was intact and just as good as it was before now you can craft ammo and uh, go on little side missions to get extra rewards and stuff you, they added a whole lot of new stuff to this game I'm like I expected them to add more stuff but not to this degree like I'm still <laughs> I'm sorry y'all like bear with me I'm still kind of just in that hype because I finished the game not too long ago I played it for like about what like 30 hours I put into it on my first playthrough because I really just took everything in so I'm still on a high off that game to be honest I'm not gonna lie they did such a good job and I was like I gotta talk about it but um yeah they a lot of the same things you remember from the original are here when it comes to the looting and all of that. You can still do the infamous spin kick, roundhouse kick. They actually gave them more kicks on this game. Like now you can do like a front kick. It looks like a bro kick. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but Seamus from WWE does it. You can do a kick like that. You got the suplex intact. So all those stuff still there. Um, you can still hit their weak spots in order to set up for these attacks like shooting the knees shooting the head and sometimes it's not always best to shoot for the head if you know what I mean because something's gonna come out and make things a little bit more difficult but it comes to be expected when you're playing RE4 or RE5 speaking of RE5 they say that they might be uh, remaking it what do y'all think? Do y'all think they should remake RE5? In my personal opinion, while I, I'm i not going to lie, they've proven me wrong, right? I wasn't really sure that they could remake RE4 and capture its essence. I wasn't sure about that. And hey, I'll admit they proved, they proved me wrong about that. They proved me wrong i guess about well i didn't really have negative thoughts about re2 remake to be honest i was really hyped for that so i didn't expect it to be bad i didn't expect re3 to be bad you know the remakes i didn't expect this one to be bad but i was just nervous i'm like this is such an important game that they're remaking but 
Hey, they put me at ease. So maybe they can do the same thing for RE5. But, in my opinion, I don't know about that. I'd rather see a remake of either Code Veronica or the original Resident Evil. Like, yeah, I would want them to remake it again, but with more modern gameplay. I wouldn't mind seeing that, to be honest. But that's just my opinion. Now, another big aspect of this game is, of course, the puzzles, right? The exploration, which was surprisingly really similar to the original. They did cut things out. So, for people who are expecting this to be one-to-one, -one, just like the original, it's not. It comes very, very close, but there are things that are missing. It didn't bother me, but I did notice. I was like, oh, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone. Oh, they added this, they added that, right? But yeah, th there are things that are missing. Um, a lot of the puzzles are similar, but then they're also different. You'll know what I mean if you end up playing the game, if you haven't already. But a lot of puzzles, you'll look at them and you're like, okay, this is familiar. But the way you do them isn't always quite the same as the original. Which, like I said, it didn't bother me, but I did notice the changes. Nonetheless, exploration is probably the main I say like the main essence of this game besides like the action of course you're gonna be walking around a lot looking for treasures looking in the ceiling to shoot medallions there's gonna be a lot of exploration done at least if you're trying to get the most out of this game which I believe you should this game becomes really enjoyable when you're just finding resources and ways to make more money which can be through, like I said, side missions or finding treasures. And you just become a more stronger player in general. These factors are what I believe makes the game shine. Through the exploration. There's this thing with Resident Evils where you get into this flow. Where you start to think about different strategies and ways to approach the enemies or the areas. And once you get into that flow, the game is so addicting. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I love to speedrun these games. RE2 Remake, I, I beat it like, I want to say like four or five times, right? And the fastest I beat it was under an hour, like 55 minutes, maybe 45. I'll have to check. I'll have to check the stats again, right? But these games are so fun to replay. And RE4 doesn't, well the remake doesn't disappoint when it comes to that. As soon as you beat this game, you're going to be wanting to go right back in. Um, especially if you're trying to get those extra unlockables, which I'm sure a lot of you will, if you haven't already. I remember when the game first came out, I already seen people speed running it and saying like, Hey, this is how you get the infinite this, infinite that. I'm like, damn, like, can I play it? I'm like, damn. <laughs> Can a dude play this shit first? Let me let me catch up. But yeah, the game is fun to say the least. Now, when it comes to the gameplay, like I said, not many things really bothered me because the game was obviously going to be challenging since I was playing it on hard. But there wasn't like an impossible challenge. Nothing felt like I can't do this. You know, everything felt within reach, but man, Ashley, I won't say she annoyed me as much as she did in the original, but she annoyed me mainly because there's a bunch of times where I'd be aiming at someone and for whatever the reason she would run in my way. Like I have a sniper out. I'm trying to shoot someone and she just happens to run right in front of me over and over again. And at the most random times, like, she'd be all the way on the right. And then out of nowhere, she would just come in my line of fire. That was super annoying. 
And there's this one part specifically where I'm telling her, like, hey, go hide up in this locker. She's like, all right. And then I look again and she's running out the locker, getting captured by a dude. I'm like, hey, what? what? It's like she was trying to get caught. So, like, things like that annoyed me. It didn't take away from the experience, not at all. It wasn't game breaking or anything like that. She wasn't as bad as the original, but she did annoy me. Like, I gotta say it, you know. Like, I gotta be honest. That's just that's just <laughs> that's just what bothered me on the game. Not a lot of things bothered me on this game. I I think it's honestly a dang near perfect game, if not perfect. Uh, yeah, but Ashley, yeah, she. She still uh, got on my nerves. She did in 2005. She did in 2023. <laughs> but that's about it as far as annoyances. Some of the bosses can do some things that come off super cheap. And that comes to be expected with a Resident Evil boss. But yeah, I don't have many complaints about this game, to be honest. Compared to other games I've played, mm, I can't. I can't say that I do. Like, Callisto Protocol, I had a lot of complaints. I still enjoyed that game though, but I definitely had a lot of complaints. This game, nah. I, I'm trying to think, and I, yeah, <laughs> I got nothing besides Ashley doing some questionable things. I got nothing. So, the gameplay is solid right the graphics oh man there's some parts in this game where i was just sit back and just was like wow because some of the areas look dang near exactly like the original like i could tell okay this is the same area that i played in the original already for but just 10 times better looking right and I was just taking it in like, damn, they really remade this. <laughs> it's not a half-assed remake whatsoever. There were some parts where I would walk into this room and you would just see like fog coming out of the ground. And there's so much atmosphere in this game. Even from the very beginning when you're walking through the forest. And just making your way to the villagers houses and stuff man i don't know how they managed to make this game probably more atmospheric than the original like the whole goth thing they got going on they cranked it up to a whole new level and i just really respect how much effort capcom put into this like they didn't have as this game and most of us that played RE3 Remake, once we finished it, we were just like, okay, RE4 Remake can't be like RE3 Remake. Obviously, if you play this game, you can tell they learned from their mistakes. They listened to the fans. They did cut out some stuff, but it wasn't like how they cut out on RE3. RE3, they cut out a whole lot in the remake. And like I said, I still enjoyed the game, but there was definitely that feeling of Man, I wish they did this. I wish they did that. You know? It's good to cut out some stuff. Because not everything is always necessary. Especially in a remake. You're trying to improve upon things that were quote unquote bad in the original. Or things that people didn't like. Parts that people didn't enjoy as much. So, I get it. But, at the same time, yeah, they, they went a little too far on that one. They definitely learn from their mistakes though. Like the things that they cut out, like I said, I didn't notice it, but it didn't derail the experience for me at all. And um, before I start talking about the story aspects of this game, I actually wanted to dive a bit more into the gameplay. Another aspect of the game that really surprised me was the stealth mechanics. I'm no stranger to stealth. Like I said, I love Metal Gear, but when I saw the demo for this game and seeing that Leon was sneaking up behind enemies and stabbing them, I was like, huh? Like, like what's going on? But it makes sense, right? If you're fighting zombies, you're not always going to go head on. Even though you, you do still do that majority of the game. 
You don't gotta worry about the game becoming Metal Gear Evil or nothing like that. It doesn't turn into Splinter Cell. And the AI isn't super smart to where you peek your head out just a little bit and hey, you know? <laughs> it's pretty easy to sneak by them for the most part. But, yeah, I thought that was a fine addition. And I'm surprised that they didn't do this sooner. Like, I think maybe in Resident Evil 7, you could sneak a little bit. If I can remember right. I'm thinking of when you're hiding from the mom and she's trying to get you, you can kind of sneak by her. I guess that, you know, that counts, right? And there's some parts on 6 where I believe you're kind of hiding. I'm, I'm speaking vaguely because I don't remember the exact details, honestly. But, yeah, it's really weird to see Leon sneaking. You know, it just it threw me off at first. But I'm happy to say that it doesn't ruin the game. It doesn't make anything worse. It's cool. It's a fine addition. It makes sense. And I like how you can use the crouch mechanic to not just sneak, but to also dodge certain enemies' attacks. Some enemies will try to grab you. You can duck right under it. And that comes in handy, especially in some like boss fights and fights later on in the game in general. So, yeah, it was a welcome addition. I can't think of anything that they add it that I didn't enjoy and the things that do make a return are just enhanced like even the shooting range I feel like I had more fun in the shooting range on this game than the original at least from what I can remember but yeah this game is pretty solid when it comes to the gameplay like I said I it's hard for me to think of something I didn't like besides the things that I mentioned earlier um the game it can be challenging, but it was a welcome challenge. It wasn't overbearing. At least not to the point where I was like, I wanted to give up, right? I kept going and then I overcame the odds. That's that's how it's supposed to be though, right? So yeah, like I said, no major complaints there. Moving on to the story. The story is fairly what you would remember, right? Leon goes after the girl, Ashley meets a couple people along the way like Lewis or Luis now um, Ada you see a lot of the characters or villains that you've seen before the merchant you know right same story just told in a I honestly would say a better way they managed to make the story of RE4 even better and don't get me wrong RE4 is not like last of us storytelling quote unquote right it's not a masterpiece <laughs> because of his storytelling it's a masterpiece more so because of the gameplay and whatnot right but the story in the remake is actually really good they did a good job of fleshing things out adding more depth to the characters and I feel like they really were able to ground everything it wasn't realistic so to say like they didn't just make everything super serious they still kept some of the charm, some of the humor that you're accustomed to from the original. But they definitely managed to add a good balance where it's more grounded, but it's also got the fun of the original, which I honestly don't know how they're able to pull it off, but they did. So again, salute to Capcom because I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they managed to remake one of the best games of all time. Again, this is legit, not just the best Resident Evil, in my opinion, and in many people's opinions, right? Most people love RE4. It was my first Resident Evil game that I actually owned and played. Uh, my dad got me into Resident Evil, and I watched him play the first one and like the OG ones, but I remember when I came in, and I checked, you know, I checked on the pile of my games, and I seen RE4, and I was, oh, because I had been asking for it, and it was the first Resident Evil I actually owned, and I was really hyped for, so, you know, it, mean, it means a lot to me to play this game, and I'm sure it means a lot to a lot of you, so, with that being said, yeah, they managed to make one of the best games, one of the best Resident Evil games, again, the remake 
is one of the best Resident Evil games and one of the best games of all time, once again. So, hey, hats off to Capcom. So, to any of y'all who are wondering whether or not you should play this game, if I couldn't make it any more clearer, go buy it. Go do yourself a favor. Go buy it right now. Rent it. Do anything to play it. Whatever it takes, right? Because <laughs> it's, it's really that good. And, that's, man, especially if you played the original or if you're a Resident Evil fan, you're going to have a field day when you play this. Um, if you haven't already, I'm, I assume they near, the game sold over 3 million, so most of y'all should be right there with me. Um, my hopes for the future of Resident Evil, I'd say... If this was the last remake, I'd be fine with it, if I'm being completely honest. I wouldn't mind if this was the last remake for Resident Evil. I would like to see a new game, maybe add a new protagonist. Keep some of the features that they added to this game, like the parry and stuff. You know, some of the cool stuff. Make it scary. Because that's one thing that this remake is definitely more scary than the original. Like... RE4 original scared me when I was a kid, a little bit, right? Like, I beat it, but, the re man, the Regenerators, that shit terrified me. The remake, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's hard to scare me, too, but I was genuinely on edge on a couple parts of this. I was like, oh, damn, this is, this is not what I remember. <laughs> so, yeah, they should keep that level of horror for sure. Um, and yeah, if they do remake any of them, I'd say Co Veronica or the first one. If they want to remake five, that's cool too. I just don't know how they would. I don't know how they'd remake five, to be honest. Five had a lot of stuff going on with the co op and all of that. So I'd be real curious to see what they do. Like, how are they gonna. I like Chris's design on Resident Evil 5. I thought he looked badass. I wonder if they're gonna keep his gains. Like, is he gonna be just as buff, or is he gonna be? You know what I mean? Is he gonna be punching boulders, or is it? Or are they gonna just take that out? They can't take that out. It's too iconic. It's too iconic. But those are the type of questions that I would be asking when it comes to a remake of that game. Co Veronica, I would just like to see that game made. And the first one, I think that'll be fun because the first RE is so good already. So if they could bring more people into it you know by you know giving it more modern gameplay because a lot of people that i know they don't want to play the original re games because of the gameplay the top down tank controls they don't want to deal with all that so if they can modernize it make it a little bit more assess accessible then hey they, they might have their hands on another hit so we'll see what happens but with all that being said i just want to thank you if you made it this far, or if you even clicked on the video at all, I appreciate it. I hope all of you are enjoying Resident Evil 4 as much as I have. I hope all of you are having a great day or night, depending on when you watch this. And I truly appreciate any support. If you want to talk Resident Evil or any video games, feel free to leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to keep up with my content. And yeah, this is Solid J. Till next time.